Yo, what's up, man? How y'all doing? Welcome to Risky Behavior. I'm your host, Smelly, and this is Risky News. Risky Behavior. How y'all doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. I'm bringing you a news clip, and this is an old news clip, being that it's maybe six years old, but I did not know that this existed, and I was having a conversation with my homeboy, um, the Prince of Petty. Um, I will um, include his YouTube channel in the description if y'all want to go over there and check him out. But he's one of my homeboys. And we often talk a lot about father's rights and stuff like that. That's something that's important to us because we are both fathers. And he was telling me about the story of a father who was doing everything he was supposed to do. And yet and still found himself locked up and it is quite confusing i'm going to play the clip as always after i play the clip um get in the comment section let me know what you think about this and why did you think this happened i'm not a person that just knows everything about the law but i am a father i um have been on child support for quite a while almost to the end Yippee Kaye for that and congratulations to me almost at the end of that road. And to be honest with you, as a father, and I've heard other fathers express child support is not always a bad thing for the most part, as long as you're able to co parent and see your child and be a part of their life. Um and your child support isn't unfair. Usually a lot of us guys, we don't have an issue with it not really the worst thing in the world because any responsible guy knows that you must take care of your kid and you know that you do want to help that woman that you had a child with and you want to contribute to that child eating that child being clothed and extracurricular activities and things of that nature and that's just part of being a responsible adult so this is not a you know, this news clip is not about um, this and healthy situations where people co-parent the way they're supposed to. And, you know, guys are being responsible and taking care of their kids. This is just a very interesting clip that I did not know. And um, I don't even think a lot of women know. You know, they go down there and you, they put the guy on child support to get help. You know, but I don't think they know that the law does these things when it comes to men. So. Well, a Houston father is facing 180 days in jail for overpaying his child support and over visiting his 11 year old son. His attorney and a community activist are now demanding answers. Randy Wallace joins us live with a story you'll see only on Fox. Randy. Don, we all expect to see judges throw the book at fathers who fail to pay child support. But a father who says he's been doing the right thing now has an arrest warrant against him. Uh, it's my responsibility to take care of it. You know, I brought him in this world. I have to. Clifford Hall says he's more than happy to pay child support for his 11-year-old son. I'm his father. You know, uh, it's my responsibility to take care of it. But Hall says when the amount of child support was modified, no one told him. And I discovered that for some reason his employer was withholding a large amount some weeks, a small amount some weeks, zero amount uh, some weeks. And I didn't want to go to jail, basically. So Hall quickly paid almost three grand in back child support. When Hall and his ex-wife were in Judge Lisa Millard's court last November, he owed nothing. Opposing counsel testified twice that he's all paid up. But the attorney representing the child's mother wanted Hall to pay her three grand in attorney fees, and Judge Millard agreed. Court documents also reveal Hall wasn't following the court's scheduled times to pick up his son, another modification he says he knew nothing about. The judge ended up sentencing him to six months in jail. When she said, I sent, you know, remand you to the Harris County Jail for 180 days, my mouth just dropped. This entire situation is shocking to me. I've never seen one like this. Community activist Cornell X wants the state's judicial board to investigate. The court failed the child. The court failed Mr. Hall. The system broke down. I can't be there for my son in jail. I can't pay child support in jail. You know, this is not, this is not in the best interest of the child. 
Judge Lisa Millard says Hall walked out of court after he was found in contempt, which she says is a big no-no. Judge Millard also points out Hall's attorney could have filed a motion for reconsideration. She says that would have allowed her to hear both sides again and reevaluate re the situation. Hall's attorney is now working on an appeal, and in a few days, Hall plans to turn himself in, and Don will, of course, keep everybody posted on, yeah. on how this plays out. It really is a strange situation. Very, very, very strange. I mean, it, it, it kind of shows that sometimes these things can be changed, modified. Maybe one parent doesn't know, but it's very confusing, and you've got to right. wonder how this man could go to jail for this. All right. All right. Randy Wallace, thank you. You're welcome. Mm, 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 mm. Woo. There's something that I often say because I've heard these conversations come up all the time about, um, you know, just child support, custody and things like that. And the whole um, deadbeat father thing that people like to just throw around and stuff like that. And I said, well, we currently live in a nation where um, it's impossible to be a good father. And I, I said this, before, I said. How could any man be a good father when legally you're not allowed to? The fact that there could be a punishment for seeing your kid. For seeing your kid, you picked them up too much. You're, you're spending too much quality time with your child. <laughs> what the fuck? It, it, it's a crazy world we live in. And I don't think most people see it or realize it because if you're not in that, in that system, you really probably don't even pay attention to it. And so when people outside of it wonder and say, well, Hey, um, my dad could have picked me up more. My dad could have got me more. No, he couldn't. <laughs> no, he could. You know what? If you, um, if you say to somebody, well, hey, why, why you never pick me up from work? And they say, well, I don't have a license. You wouldn't say to them, well, you still could have drove and picked me up. You wouldn't say that because you would know that legally they could get in trouble for driving without a license. And you would know that legally they cannot do this thing. And what I'm saying to you is legally fathers who are in the system legally cannot be good fathers. If you are a good father in the system, do recognize and understand that you are doing it illegally. And I've been to court. I have the joint custody. I know what my parenting plan states. My visitation is. And I am telling you. If you are a good father, you are doing such illegally illegally <laughs> if you are a loving father picking your kid up from school every day helping out doing homework you're not just being a weekend father you're like hey you know what got off work early can i go pick up can i go pick him up from school or pick her up from school and i'll take him to get something to eat I'll do their homework with them and I'll drop them off to you at your house so that you can have them ready for bed and go to school. It'll be easy peasy for you. That's a good thing. You get off work as a working mother. The kids are already fed homework done. All you got to do is get them ready for school the next day. That's illegal. If that woman should ever get upset with you. And take you to court and say, look, your honor, he been he been picking his child up, spending quality time with him. <laughs> oh, my God. Whew. I can imagine 
Bernie Mac hearing this story. <laughs> it's some bullshit. He want to pick up his motherfucking child. Motherfucker want to take his child to the park. Spend some quality time with him. What the fuck? It's some bullshit. <laughs> this is insane. I laugh because you know what? I've been doing it so long, it just doesn't bother me. I, I already know. But this is shocking. And this is why a lot of men say, look, I'm only going to give you what I am required to pay. Nothing more. And you said, I only get them on the weekend. I'm only going to get them on the weekend. And nothing more. Because legally, I can't do it. Can't do it. And you throw him in jail for that bull. And look at this. Most people, most Americans, um, with the cost of living and how things are, we can't, people can't just usually go 180 days without working. How are you going to pay his rent? And then he gets out. He got a little kid. He gets out. You threw him in jail for 180 days. He gets out. He ain't got no job, got nowhere to live. If he have an apartment, they done evicted him through all his out on the street. He got to buy new furniture. He has to restart his whole life just for being a good father. Think about that. That is insane. Let that be a lesson. Let this here story just be a lesson as to why when you say, oh, my father, he could have did more. No, he could not. He couldn't. He could not. Couldn't do it. And then I know at the end they say he just walked out the court. Might as well. You screwing me over. I, I got to walk out. I got to leave. I'm too angry. It's, it's just sad, man. It's just sad. It's like Paul Mooney said before, what they say, what they do. It's almost like you got to laugh to keep from crying because you cannot believe the insanity of a father. Even these two white guys on the news, <laughs> like, <laughs> look at their facial expression. He like, hmm. <laughs> this is weird. This is weird. Hmm. Anyway. And I know I. I, <laughs> I know I said it's two uh, white guys on the news looking and stuff. But, you know, um, people um, tend to act like it's always this racial barrier. But when it comes to fatherhood, all fathers go through this. And so we all connect. When it comes to issues like this, we all connect because we all going through it. Illegal. It is illegal to be the best father you can be while in the system. Now, if you're outside the system, then whatever, it doesn't matter. But within the system, every father, no matter the color. Are you a great father? I want you to know and I want to thank you for saying F the law, breaking the law, because if you are an awesome father in this system, you're doing it illegally. That's all I have. Get in the comments. Let me know what you think. I appreciate you all. Risky out. Risky behavior.